A recent Gallup poll asked people from 154 countries if and where they would like to immigrate. The results show that the U.S. is the most popular destination for immigration. The U.K. was the second most popular, followed by Canada, France and Saudi Arabia. An analyst of the data show that of the 154 countries surveyed, 44 countries have more than 5% of their population saying they wanted to move to the U.S. In 15 countries, more than 10% wanted to move to the U.S. And three countries in particular, Liberia, Sierra Leone and the Dominican Republic, have more than a quarter of their adult population wanting to move to the U.S. In Liberia in particular, almost 40% of people surveyed say that they would like to move to the U.S. if they could. Now, part of the reason could be Liberia's historical connection to the U.S. The country was established by freed American slaves and has depended on U.S. assistance during its two recent civil wars. In developed countries, Israel and the U.K. top the list of countries where a large portion of the population wants to migrate to the U.S. According to the survey, about 6% of British and Israeli citizens expressed a desire to go to the U.S. So what do net users in China think about the results of the survey and the hardships of immigration? Well, let's have a look at some Weibo comments to find out. So many people immigrate to the U.S. First, they have to get used to the new natural environment. Then they have to make a living through hard work. But in the end, they are just making a contribution to a country that's not their own. People have really better think immigration through. The successful ones are extremely talented and have a knack for languages. By immigrating, people are sacrificing their familiar friend circles. I think there are three obvious reasons for immigration. One, because an employer requires the employee to relocate. Two, the immigrant has lost confidence and hope for their own country and three, to escape punishment. Are people immigrating or are they escaping? I think people have a responsibility to their homeland. If everyone with talent leaves, then this country is sure to stagnate. China's large population also distorts this kind of proportion of population survey. According to an infographic posted by China's Sina News, there were more than 150,000 people that immigrated from China in 2011. The top four destinations were the U.S., Canada, Australia and New Zealand. According to the most recent report on Chinese international migration published by the Social Sciences Academic Press, nearly 90,000 Chinese people were granted U.S. permanent residency in 2011. Another 60,000 permanent residence visas were granted to Chinese citizens by other countries in the world. In China, the affluent and educated elites are the main force of emigration. According to the Hu Rim Report, an annual publication that ranks China's richest people, one in four Chinese worth more than $16 million have emigrated. So, how do Chinese net users look upon their fellow citizens that have emigrated and found a home in another country? Well, let's go to Weibo and find out. Here's how I see Chinese immigrants to the United States. They are people who take the hard-earned money of their fellow citizens and then take it to the U.S. to make contributions to the foreign economy. I don't think leaving China is necessarily a good thing. University is very hard in the United States, and many students are not able to graduate. Even if they do graduate, they have a hard time finding a job. Though because the population abroad is smaller, so there is less competition compared with China. There is a unique feature of Chinese immigration. It is that people who get permanent residency in another country do not necessarily move there. As long as we do not let criminals escape punishment through immigration, I think it's every person's freedom to pursue their own dream. The irony is that many people's Chinese dream is to immigrate to another country. 
I think the Chinese government needs to deeply reflect on this phenomenon. Why do so many people want to immigrate? While a large number of Chinese people have found a permanent home elsewhere in the world, the flow of immigration goes both ways. Many students and entrepreneurs continue to move to China. As a result, the Chinese government estimates the number of expats living in China at over 1 million. And that number is bound to increase as China increases its influence on the world stage.